Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. So markets are closed obviously today. So we'll get into, just take a look at where Bitcoin is right now. And then we'll also take a look at the miners as far as how far down they are from where they basically peaked in middle of July sometime. Compare that to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's actually up from then. So we'll take a look at all those numbers. And then we'll just say some thanks to be some things to be thankful for. And we'll call it a day. All right. So let's get into it here. But as always, you guys know, not financial advice for entertainment only. Do your own research, and I'm investing in fine coins and companies for full disclosure. So if you enjoyed this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And let's take a look at Bitcoin here right now, just really quick. We're not going to get too deep into it. But Bitcoin right now is actually down a little bit here on the day. It obviously bounced really good yesterday, back to probably where we went down from. Uh, then, when was that? Tuesday we got the news, right? Yeah, Tuesday we got the news on um, CZ stepping down from Binance, right? That drove the price of Bitcoin down. It has rebounded back up to the 37,000 marks. So we're above that right now. We're still battling, obviously, with the 38,000 mark. We can't seem to get above that. We keep getting closer to it, uh, hitting it a couple of times, but just can't seem to break above it. All right, as I said, the markets are closed today, so we'll take a look at the miners, how they did yesterday. Just quickly, a couple worthy mentions here. CleanSpark was up 7% on the day. Iris Energy was also up 10% on the day. Marathon was up almost 6%. Riot, only about uh, almost 4% on that one. Wolf was only, well, 2%. So it was kind of mixed day. We had some miners that were down. Coors obviously was down because of the dilution and everything else. And then the reverse split they're going to be doing, one for 25. So that's the reason that one was down again. And yeah, that's it. We'll call it it. A day for this. We'll see how Bitcoin goes over Thanksgiving. Tomorrow's Friday. So tomorrow we have a shorter day in the markets. I think it's only going to be like three or four hours in the trading day. So it's going to be a shorter day. And then we'll see what happens there if we get any news or anything like that. Okay. But next, let's take a look at how the miners have performed since they peaked in mid-July, somewhere on there. So I brought in all the numbers here that we currently have from yesterday as far as where everything closed. And then also we took the numbers in from where they closed on the 13th of July, which is kind of right around the range where they all pretty much peaked. Um, so it might be a little bit sooner than that. So it might be a little bit later than that. But for the most part, we're right around there. So if you look at the chart here, uh, down below, we can see here all the miners, so much they're down from where they peaked at and where Bitcoin is at right now, right? So Bitcoin right now is at 22.83% up from there, while the miners are actually down quite a bit. The only ones that are kind of performing somewhat nicely here is DMG. DMG is only down 4.8%, surprisingly. From that time frame, Clean Sparks only down 27%, Riot down 35%, Marathon down 36%, Bitfarms 37% down from there. And you can see how the rest here have performed really. Uh, you can see Bitdeer quite, down quite a bit, down 65%, TerraWolf down 66%, Sphere down 71%, Moss and down 80%. So it's obviously been not a good couple of months, I guess you could say, since July. So we got August, September, October, we're in November right now. So you got four months, four months away from that time frame, and they're down a bunch here, right? They did have a nice rally in the beginning of the year, obviously, um, from the beginning of the year where they bottomed out last December, and they are up quite tremendously here. So we're still up for the most part on the year on all the miners. If we look at the weekly numbers here, we can see that as well, how far the miners are up this current year. Oh, man, I messed it up. Okay, yeah, in the date, so sorry about that. But you can see in the past when we cover the weekly miners that a lot of them are still up quite tremendously here from the beginning of the year, which I'm guessing the trend going forward is going to be they're going to lag a little bit behind Bitcoin as we get into the halving event. Um, unless we get the spot Bitcoin ETF, at that point, I would think that the miners would kind of take off along with Bitcoin. Uh, we might have a series of days or a week or so or it's one of those buy the rumors, sell the news events when that happens, or it might just go completely bonkers and go way up. Um, we won't know until we get there. I think we're still a couple months out. Um, the SEC and Gary Gensler have been hesitant to approve anything, even though there's, what is there now, like 12 applications, 13 applications from real high, um, I guess you could say high net worth uh, companies, right? BlackRock, others as well in there. So the pressure is definitely on the SEC and Gensler to get something approved, to work something out. They also got kind of smacked by the courts for not approving the spot Bitcoin ETF trans, uh, conversion over from, uh, what was it, Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust. Uh, we have this, we have a, a futures Bitcoin ETF, but we don't have a spot, which is kind of strange. So I'm sure we're going to get it eventually. It's just a matter of time when. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, So we'll keep an eye on how things continue going forward. And then obviously, as we're celebrating Thanksgiving today, 
I just wanted to give a big thanks to every obviously everybody that's watching that has watched the channel, the videos that I do, the um, comments that we do in the well in the comment section on Twitter, the Patreon members, the YouTube members as well. Thank you so much for well being a part of this kind of ride journey, I guess you could say, uh, trying to figure out where the miners are going to go into the having event and then beyond the having event next year, and which ones are kind of doing the best and which ones are not. So I greatly appreciate you guys being a part of this. I'm also thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful that I wake up every morning and I get to do this kind of stuff and spend time with my family. So even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, always be thankful that you wake up in the morning because you never know when the morning is not going to come. So thank you, everyone. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, uh, especially those that are celebrating Thanksgiving. Those that are not, I hope you guys have a great week. And I uh, hope that you guys are thankful for something in your life. Okay, so that is it. I wish you guys all well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.